Matthew Berry. Mr. Sunshine? Not Matthew Berry, you dummy. Matthew Berry, the talented Mr. Roto. Matt Damon's here? No. Taco. Matthew Berry, the ESPN fantasy football expert. I sent you his podcast every week. Don't you listen to it? I don't listen to you. I need to win this year. That guy right there, he's going to help me win. Matthew Berry is the prettiest girl in this bar. And I'm going to go hit on him. Hello. That was a scene from The League on FX. It's a comedy where friends compete for fantasy football supremacy by any means necessary. Matthew Barry is used to acts of desperation from fantasy, from fantasy sports fans. He highlights them in his new book, Fantasy Life, the Outrageous, Uplifting, and Heartbreaking World of Fantasy Sports from the guy who's lived it. He's also the senior fantasy sports editor for ESPN. Welcome. Thanks, guys. Bowl. How are you? I'm well. So I'm, on, I'm on TV talking fantasy football. Get better than that. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't get better. How do you explain this phenomenon of people so much wanting to play fantasy sports? Because it's fun. Because it's fun. It gives you a rooting interest in games you wouldn't normally care about. People love it. it we all do March Madness brackets, that kind of thing, yeah. right? A tournament challenge. So Once it's a, a year. It runs, it's the same sort of thing. So by picking your fantasy team, it gives you a rooting interest in the games that you wouldn't normally have. And... It's a lot of fun. Well, People like fun. Everybody likes fun. And you say that everybody remembers their first time. Yes. 35, 36 million play this. I was astounded by the numbers. But what really got to me were the stories you told about the people that do the most unusual things to play the game. The guy who's on his way to, with his wife who's pregnant stops to make a pick. Yeah. Crazy. Well, he was on his way, and, you know, <laughs> she, she, the labor contraction had just started. Yeah. So, yeah, it was crazy. He delayed the birth of his child yes. for fantasy sports. Uh, I, I've heard everything. There, there's a league in Omaha, Nebraska, where the loser has to get a tattoo. Yes. Um, chosen by the winner. So there's literally, there's a, there, they all signed a contract, and there's a, there's a guy walking around Nebraska right now who's got a uh, Justin Bieber, a tattoo of Justin Bieber's face on, on his, his leg, leg. <laughs> says hashtag YOLO swag, fantasy loser. That's another one. That's the uh, Care Bear T Boeing from two years ago. Yeah. No, people do the craziest things. Well, as you know, Gail and Charlie and I are all big fantasy sports players. Right. That's like your typical. Loser. Well, but you know what? That's the great thing is yeah. that so many people play. Yeah. 87 year old grandmothers, Playboy Playmates, Jay Z is a player. Yeah. Like it's it's every single person you can imagine plays, and that's what, one of the great things that I learned uh, in doing this book. Husbands and wives play, kids play. So it's not too late. I got to get you guys in a league. Okay, but how did you get involved in this? Because you were a screenwriter. I, I was. Uh, I've been playing since I was 14 years old. I'm 43. So I've been playing almost 30 years. But in 1999, there was a website that was looking for fantasy writers. This is back in dial up days. No one's really yeah. on these websites. But uh, I loved it. And I said, I'm a professional writer out here in Hollywood. Fantasy sports is my passion. Could I write a column? Could I do something for free? Just try out. And they said, we looked up, they went back the next day, and they said, we looked up on IMDb. Married with Children is our favorite show of all time. You're hired. Yes. And so, because but, I, but, but you're right, though, Matthew. Here yeah. you are at the age of 29. Yeah. Doing this job for free yes. at a website that nobody's ever heard of, right? And you were happier than you've ever been oh, absolutely. getting that job. And that's what you know. That's what I realized is that at age 35, I was I was a successful Hollywood screenwriter, and honestly, I was depressed. And the thing that made me happiest were these little websites. I woke up in the morning, I went to bed at night just thinking about these websites. And so, 35 year old, I said, you know what? I don't know if it's possible, but I want to try to make a living out of this. I'm giving up show business, and we're just going to try to go for it. And I put everything I could into the websites, and a couple years later, ESPN yeah, bought it. And yeah. yeah, it was yeah. It's really a life lesson, isn't it? I, I just chased Probably happiness, and, and money and everything else followed. Yeah. What's the financial impact? You know, there's lots of different studies on that. People play, I've heard of leagues that play for lots of money. There's a Wall Street League where it's a anonymous Wall Street League where it's $100,000 a team to get in. So there's, there's that. But people play for all sorts of things. Husband and wives play for who's going to get to do the chores. You know, there's, a, there's couples leagues where it's nothing but smack talk. I got a league in Bronx, in the Bronx, <laughs> I got a league in the Bronx where the loser has to dress as a lion and then everyone else in the league uh, chases them with a paintball gun. So the people play for all different sorts of things. No, you said happiness has eluded you, but I yes. think we have to pass we have to point out that within a year you were married mm -hmm. and the father of five kids because your wife Beth came, she had three children, yes. and then you had twins. And so you're a happy guy as you sit here today. Un unbelievably happy. It's an, been an amazing journey. You know, one of those questions you always get is why'd you write the book? And one of the reasons is I had all these great fantasy stories, but in terms of my own life, 
I felt like I finally had a last yeah. chapter yeah. Uh, between my Beth and uh, my kids. So well, it's been great. Continued success. Thank Fantasy you. Life by Matthew Berry is on sale, by the way, today.